Okay, now we're going to show what happens when the guillotine from the mat progresses up to the feet, to the standing position. We can still use these same two ways of getting out of it, okay, getting out of the guillotine. Notice I'm keeping control over here. It only takes about five or six seconds. I'm keeping control right here on my on the throat. And all I do again is I'm gonna move this way and just look up to here. And again, I'm gonna turn right into his body. This way. Okay? And, and the other one is suppose he's just got this my neck, he's getting me in the guillotine here. I can still do this. But I got a block right here and block right here. Another thing I want to do is I want to step this way and look up again. Step this way. Bring any arm, look, notice what happens. This, this, this arm is right here. When I step this way, it pulls them off to right here. And once I'm right here, it's easier for me to look up and do this. That's the motion I want. So I'm right here. He's got the gear thing. I'm controlling his hip right here. I'm keep, trying to keep from choking me out right here. So the thing I want to do first is move this way. Just move this, this way. You want to turn right up this way, then look up to here. And right here, I turn back into a spot. Okay, the important thing about the guillotine, if you notice, I'm not just fighting the guillotine with my neck and with my head. I'm using my whole body, more or less, to defend against him choking me out or dragging me back down to the mat for a takedown, okay? When he's in here, if I'm right here, notice I'm, I'm hipping right here. I'm using my body and my hips. I'm, swib look, I'm, I'm swiveling this way. I'm right here. Control. If I'm under here, does that make the same? Same pressure of blood. I'm still going to step up right here. I'm going here. I got to look out. I got to turn my body. From right here, I'm using my, watch my hips, when my hips go in, I'm going straight up right here. This isn't really my neck, this is my back that's working, that's making this more strong and more powerful. I'm not just looking up like this, I'm not here, I'm bringing my hips up under me right here. And my head is up, I'm just looking up at the ceiling. One thing about looking up the ceiling right here, it blows my neck, and it's more it's strong in this, in this position. So I'm right here, if I'm just doing this, he can just, my neck is weak. This one right here, look at the ceiling, and it's strong. Notice from right here. He's got the gear thing. I'm doing from this way, from right here. I gotta grip my neck right here. If I want to, I just lift straight up the guy. And it keeps the choke from around my neck off. Okay. I have the, uh, one of my teammates, uh, Jimmy Martinez, Olympic uh, bronze medalist. A lot of times, what he would do, he had a trick move that he would use around the world. He'd just walk out like he was, like between breaks, between acting. He'd walk out like he was tired, like this. And he'd walk in, and God would just go get him. And he just right here. And he's got you. From right here, he just throw. And he won the Olympic uh, bronze medal. He's doing that. Simply that form. Okay, next we're going to go, we're going to progress from the double leg to a single leg. And the single leg is good, it's a good takedown mostly because a lot of times, double legs can be difficult for some people. Some guys, I mean, to be honest with you, double edge is sometimes better for guys who have to work taller because they have longer arms and hold the guy in. So what I like to do a lot of times is even on these uh, on these uh, uh, double legs where I get caught under, switch off to a single leg. When I switch off to a single leg, it's a good move because the single leg versus double leg, with the single leg, it's one, up, it's one leg versus my two arms uh, compared to the double leg where it's one arm for each leg. But this way I got two, I have two hands on one leg, okay? So remember the shot when we were doing before we shoot the double leg and a switch off to the single leg? We're going to do that and we're going to progress from there to the single leg and the single leg takedown. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come around like before. I plant my hand, I keep riding, I plant my hand, I grab my own wrist, I try to it up, I come around, I come, he stands with me. And then I'm off to the single leg. Okay, when I come up to the single leg position, now, after work for seat, you take it down from here. Okay? Okay, once again, we're going to show how we get to the single leg from the double leg. Okay? I'm right here, change levels, boom, I'm shooting in. Strong. All I'm going to do now is I'm move my body out this way, planting my hand. Once my hand is planted, I put my, I grab my own wrist. I try to pot up, and I come around. So he stands up and I come around. He stands. I stand with him. I don't stay down on the mat. A lot of times, 
A lot of guys will. You notice when I'm going to come up, I'm still holding my, still holding them to the same place. That hand that was planted on the ground, I'm still holding it at the wrist where I grab it. I'm still holding it in the same position. Okay? Okay, and it's important that like when I'm down there from the double leg to single right now I'm moving kind of slow only because for, for purposes of showing it to you. But the thing like I'm doing all this quickly and fast and he's not gonna get very many chances to hit me. You've seen guys in the octagon who do single legs. You know, once they get it, they're not just standing there holding it. And the guy who's who's in the, who's got his leg up, it's not sitting there trying to, you know, punch it's basically trying to get out of it. A lot of times guys aren't even throwing good punches in there because they don't have any power of his own standing on one leg. Okay? You know, one more time. One more time slowly. Move on to a little bit faster this time for you. Right here. Flat. Right here. Notice I keep my body, my body's going this way. I let go of the leg on the other side. Come over here. See? I let go of the leg over here. I'm right here. Notice I've moved my body this way. So I get this hand up. Okay? Now I'm gonna do is go here and try to up. And I come out. A lot of guys you're digging in their into their uh, their thighs. They don't stay down. They just stand up. They're still stand up. When they stand up, they're still in the same position. I'm holding my wrist. Okay? And this is where we want to be from here. Holding the wrist. Okay? And that's what he's going to do pretty much probably try to attack my wrist. And right from here, I go to takedowns. Okay, it's very important once we do get him in the single leg position that we do hold him properly. Okay? To keep from getting away or making it easy for him to get an escape from here. So I'm right here, once I got the leg, I'm right here, I'm grabbing my own wrist, and I'm pinching the leg, okay? And so I got a good position here, I'm not too much, I'm not, and I'm pinching, I'm not pinching like this, I'm more like this so that I can still move, it still makes, it, it can be pretty mobile in here, and I have to be, because he, he might start moving, I want to move with him, I want to make him move, okay? Alright, and from here, the takedowns we want to do are basically, um, one of the better ones, one of the most widely used in colleges and universities and a lot of high schools. It's kind of more advanced for high schools, but it's a good one to learn. And that's the uh, running the pipe. And all I'm doing running the pipe is, I'm right here, I'm still holding good position. All I'm doing is take a big step and sit. So I'm right here, and I'm going to take a big step around and sit. Now I'm running the pipe. Notice, I didn't fall down with it. When I went around and came down to the sitting position, I didn't fall on. I don't want to do that. Especially with the jiu-jitsu guy. Because if I fall with the jiu-jitsu guy, I'm in a half guard. I'm doing it. It's to be to pass the guard from here or try to deal with it from here. Then if I'm in that position right here, I can either go to ankle lock and things of that nature. If that's part of my game. So this time I'll show it from, from this side. I got the leg. All I'm doing is, notice right now I'm facing this direction. When I take this big step, I'm going to be facing the other direction. So right here, I'm going to take a big step over here. I think I'm facing the other direction. Look at my hand. I'm still holding the same grip. Okay? My grip is still the same right here. You can see I didn't move it. From right here, I'll just take my leg, my hands, and run them right down between my legs and sit. I go here. And he's down. I know this is where I'm facing this way. And before, I was facing that way. Okay? One more time. The key to this move is for me to move so fast that it leaves him standing right here. At the end, we're both facing that direction. We're both facing the other, the opposite world. We're both facing the same direction. So I'm right here. I just push up real quickly. And I'm finishing right here. Okay. Okay. The thing about doing the, uh, the thing about doing, uh, running the pipe is. I mean, you see people do it, it almost looks like magic. And a lot of times, when I first started, I was like, wow, how do you do that? And the thing that people don't understand is what makes this move work is the fact that I get around to facing the wall before he can move or even hop around him on, on his one leg. When I push off here, I do it quickly and fast. Look where He's like behind me. He could, he could, if he did try to take my back, it wouldn't really matter here. Because all I'm going to do right now is slide my hand. That's what I call it running the pipe. I'm going to like I'm running the pipe. I'm going to run my hand down to about his ankle. And when I get it there, I'm just going to sit down. I'm just going to go right to here. And like this. It makes this. When I do that, when I do that, all it does is just, it takes all of his, uh, his weight. Oh, watch, you'll see when I do it. All this weight's going to be right here. And I'll just sit with it. 
put him right here, I push to here. Look where he is, where he's standing. Now this thing, if I put, if I put my weight down to here, my sitting like this, it just goes down. One more time, fast. Okay? So I'm right here. I got it. Okay, I'm going to step around. Look where I left. Look where I leave him. He can't hop as fast as I can move. So if I'm moving my head, still the same grip. I'm going to run the pipe now. I'm going to run this right between my legs. And sit. The same guy. I'll go here. And while I look where my hands are, I'm right here between my legs. I'm not up here. I'm right here. 